I feel all warm and fuzzy now. Hi, everyone in person. Hi, everyone online. Happy Friday. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your really busy schedules to be part of this community. We will start either sitting or lying on your back. Um, we might get to do a little bit of balance work. So if you need to, you know, be by a wall or if you're at home, you need a chair for balance, uh, you might want to run and grab a chair. As always, check around and make sure you're in a really safe, stable spot. And with that, we'll give ourselves a few moments to settle onto our backs. Or if you prefer to sit, Finding a really comfortable, easy sitting shape. All of us taking a moment to intentionally slow down, allowing our physical bodies to find and feel stillness. gentle reminder that you have total agency over your practice. And so if something doesn't feel comfortable or safe, you can always back out. You can always come back to sitting or lying back, finding a supportive shape to catch your breath and to relax. So as we settle in these shapes, taking a moment to feel your breath in your body, in your own understanding, in your own way, feeling your inhale and feeling your exhale. You might want to put a hand on your chest. You might want to put a hand on your lower rib cage. And so as we put our hands on our bodies, if that's comfortable for us, connecting the breath between our hands. So we talked a little bit about how when we put on masks, sometimes we become mouth breathers, chest breathers. We've also talked about when we're feeling a little more anxious or upregulated, we tend to be more chest breathers. So with this second hand, this lower hand, feeling the breath a little lower down in the bottom part of your lungs and your ribs. If you're in a mask, trying to keep your breath in and out through your nose. And if you don't have a mask on, trying to keep the breath in and out through your nose. Light, easy breathing. Feeling your bottom hand and noticing how when you exhale, your ribs draw down and in. Maybe feel how your belly seems to draw down, navel towards spine. And when you inhale, your ribs expand. You might feel your belly get a little bigger. Just the residue of the breath.
movement of the organs in relationship to the diaphragm and the lungs with your breathing. Letting your chest settle. If you're sitting, if you're lying back, that top hand relaxing that top hand into your chest, letting your chest soften, letting your heart soften, your throat. So easy to carry tension across the front of the body, up into the chest, into the throat, into the neck and the jaw. And just counting three breaths. See if you can really, all you have to do is pay attention to three breaths. When you feel maybe your third or fourth breath, we're going to bring both arms back down to your sides. If you're sitting, you're going to come onto your back. And then we're going to bring attention to what we can't see. We don't get to see the back body, but we can feel it. The gift here of being on the floor. Just take a moment to feel the back of the skull. You might tuck your chin a little bit, getting some length through the back skull neck. Going out nice and wide, feeling the back of the shoulders in relationship to the back heart space. So if you could take your heart and take it into the floor right between your shoulder blades going out to the shoulder or the backs of the shoulders. And then the width of the back rib cage and the width and the weight of the pelvis into your feet. So continuing the snow angels that we worked on Tuesday, you can just keep your arms on the floor for a few of these and just taking your arms out and up like snow angels on the carpet, feeling the relationship of the shoulder blade to your arm, to your spine. Keeping the spine down, little more physical challenge, you'll float your arms off of the carpet and just letting the arms float off the floor about an inch. And just taking the arms connecting into the shoulder blades into your back. This is an abdominal exercise as we're using the abdominals to hold the core, the rib cage, the spine, that whole rectangle stable and still as you just feel the shoulder blades and the arms move. Try not to pop your ribs up or arch in your back. And then if you want a little more movement, you can take your arms up towards the ceiling do some figure eights. This is moving the arms in relationship to core, spine, rib cage stability. Take about three more breaths, moving the arms. And then with your next couple of breaths, we're going to take the arms straight up towards the ceiling. And then we'll take them just a wee bit wider, just to give the shoulders a little open feeling, a little more range of motion as we reach the arms way back overhead. And let your arms float right in front of your ears. So if you open your eyes, you look out the periphery, you can see your arms. 
And then we're gonna come all the way back and try and soften the chest and the heart, letting the back of the ribs be wide and heavy, the back of the hips heavy, the feet heavy and take two breaths. And then imagine there's some cables back there and you're gonna pull those cables up to the ceiling and all the way down to the floor by your pelvis. And then you're gonna reach, pull those cables back up towards the ceiling and back overhead. We'll do two more. Just reaching, adding a little internal resistance. And again, just the relationship, moving the arms, feeling your breathing. And then when your arms come back up towards the ceiling, we'll add a physical challenge. We'll take the arms up towards the ceiling. Take a breath again, exhale, maybe soften the chest and the heart. And then if you want more physical challenge, bringing your knees up over your hips. Straightening the legs up towards the ceiling. We'll bend and straighten at the knee. Three, four, five times. Feel free to point and flex in the foot. So working on that back leg through the hamstrings into the ankles. And then straightening both legs to your capacity. So what do you know your capacity is? Well, we don't want pain in the low back. We don't want overarching in the spine. And we really don't want a whole ton of tension up in your hip creases. So if you feel there's a lot of tension in your low back, you feel there's a lot of tension in your chest, you feel there's like gripping in your hips, bend your knees a little bit. And then we're going to work on taking your arms, big stretch again overhead. And then we're going to lower your heels just a little bit. And then we're going to exhale, take all the limbs back up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lower the arms and the legs. And exhale, go back up towards the ceiling. So as you do about three more, control and concentration. As you take your arms and legs away, try not to move the spine. And then when you find just the right space, arms overhead, heels lower just enough. Take a pause, soften the chest, soften the throat, soften your gaze, two breaths. Exhale, take all the limbs up. Great, and lower everything down, pause on your back. Coming back to what you notice, opening up to your awareness for three breaths. And then when you feel your next breath, let's roll on over onto our bellies. So we're gonna roll right over onto our bellies. We're going to bring your chest as close to the floor as you can. Remember, I have a little mic on, so I don't get to get my forehead as close to the floor as you can. But you want to get your forehead way down. Your nose can just hover. And your hands can rest by your side. Now, if this is, you know, cranky on your wrist, by all means, you can bring your hands underneath your forehead. And see here if you can let the two front shoulder areas, armpit areas, get a little closer with your sternum in towards the floor. The front of your pelvis, nice and heavy, all the way through your legs, through the top of the feet. You might soften and let the shoulder blades feel like they're 
Releasing out of your ears a little more. And then we're gonna take your arms just down by your sides. And we'll start with the palms facing down. And you wanna try and keep your chest really close to the floor as you do a series of snow angels here, taking your arms out and up and down and in. Now, as you move your arms, noticing your chest, can you keep the chest close to the floor? Can you keep your nose just hovering? And then if you want more physical challenge, Letting the arms float off the floor, no higher than your body. So don't take the arms up more than just an inch, couple inches. And again, the relationship of the arm going into the shoulder blade, going into your back, holding that spine really strong. And you feel the shoulder blade move. Shoulder blade arms move two more. So spine is steady as the shoulder blade moves. And then we're gonna come up with a new challenge. You're gonna bring your arms back down by your side. If that was you know, not a good place for your wrist, you're gonna bring your hands, forearms underneath your head. Now we're gonna place our shoulder blades on our back. So you might visualize, feel those shoulder blades stuck on your back. And we're gonna slowly peel our chest up like a little baby cobra and come back down. So pretty different than the snow angels. Now your shoulder blades are steady and strong on your back and you're trying to move your spine with fluidity and strength. Anchoring through the front of your hips and working right between your shoulder blades, back of the rib cage where we tend to be quite sticky. Maybe you can visualize all those back ribs coming onto the spine. There's lots of joints there. Might feel a little more length, trying to get nice and long. We'll do two more. The second one, when you lift up, let's just pause here. Each one of us pausing to feel what we feel, what we notice. And again, if you're someone who holds a lot of tension in your chest and your upper body, you might take a couple of breaths here, soften the chest again. Exhale, lower down. And then bringing awareness to the breath in your back body. Gentle reminder of those big back lungs. What's it feel like to breathe in the back lungs? We'll take maybe three, four, five breaths here. As you breathe into the back lungs, the back lungs rising, expanding into the back ribs and shoulder blades. Your exhales can release tension again through the chest. I'm feeling two more breaths. When you feel your second exhale, we'll press up to tabletop. So go ahead, wait for your breath. Wait, when you feel your breath, come on up, build your tabletop. Remembering in your table, we use midline stability to help with the alignment. So your ears, Lift up as high as your shoulders, shoulders, ribs, and hips, a little more in a line. It's really easy to let the lower ribs drop with gravity. So 
Remembering how we wanna take those front ribs and draw them up to help lengthen and spread the back. And then we're gonna use the idea of resistance. So you're gonna pull your shoulders forward and use the idea of resistance because we don't want the spine to change shape a lot. So we're gonna resist moving the spine into like cat cow here. So as you push back, come to your table and pull forward, you're resisting that feeling of cow as you push back resist that feeling of cat rounding your low back maybe a more simple way to say this is as you pull forward and push back try to keep neutral try to keep those three curves try and keep your ears shoulders and hips more in alignment how far can you come forward how far can you press back? We'll try two or three more. Excellent, really nice and strong. Everyone here in the room, strong through the back shoulders and the core. It's nice, I don't see anybody dropping their ribs. This looks really good. And then you're gonna come back to your table, curl your toes, and then we'll take a fork in the road. If you wanna stay in table or go back to child's pose or downward facing dog. So any one of those places, if you're coming to downward facing dog, bending your knees, letting your head hang, and pressing way back through the outer hips. You can hang out in table. You could come to child's pose. Let's take three breaths. When you get to your fourth or fifth breath, what do you notice? What do you feel physically in your body here? And when you feel your exhale, we're gonna walk your hands and feet together. And just nice and slow, like come all the way on up to standing. You can take a full body stretch. And then your arms can come down and we're just gonna stand casually. And just give yourself a moment to come back. Oh, I'm standing, noticing what it feels like to stand here. We're really pausing because I got lightheaded. <laughs> so hanging out, letting your arms hang. And then again, can you let your chest relax a little bit? And you let your heart soften into the middle of the chest. And then again, feeling a little more connection of the breath down in the lower ribs. Arms hang, three sun salutation or snow angel arms going out and up and down and in. Shoulders, ribs, hips stay stacked. So as those arms, come out, they're gonna come a little bit in the frontal plane and you're gonna take them up and down. Try to keep that spine nice and steady. And the next time your arms come down, we'll take the arms behind you a little bit. So the arms can come back in the plane behind you and you can take them out and in. Keeping the chest down, keeping the ribs knit. Great, last one. Okay, and working a little bit, coming back to balancing. So I'm gonna step both feet together. I'm gonna ground through the feet and bring some awareness to your stance. It's easy to put a little more weight, favor one leg over the other. So right side, left side, about the same amount of weight. We're just gonna pick up your left heel. Do you still have about the same amount of weight? And then as you pick up your left knee, do you have about the same amount of weight? 
And then we're going to slowly, I'll let you define slow, step this leg back into a lunge. So you're going to build your own lunge. You're going to keep your back left heel up. And then bring your hands to the front of your hip bones. So again, like your tabletop, your midline, ears, shoulders, ribs, hips. Let your chest relax. You got it. And then both knees are going to bend just a little bit. With both knees bent, lift the front of your hips up just a tad. Good. And then step both feet together. Good. Three snow angel arms. Exhale. Then inhale. Two more on your own with your breath. Coming back to your good old stance, relaxing, standing, right side, left side. Finding about the same amount of weight in each leg, you're gonna lift your right heel. Work at your own pace as you maybe pick up your right knee a little bit. With control, slowly, you define slowly, step your right foot all the way back. Back heel stays lifted. So as you step that right foot back, keep that right heel lifted. Lift up through the front of the hips. Soften your chest. Let both knees bend a little bit, take a breath. Step both feet together. And arms hang. Exhale, arms come up. We're just gonna add on a little bit. You can bend your knees. If you wanna fold forward, you can fold forward. Then exhale, come all the way on up. Inhale, bring your arms down. So we'll do two more. You can skip the forward fold or go for it. Exhale. Inhale, fold. Exhale, come up. Inhale, go down. Really just follow your breath. You can't mess it up, okay? You're moving and breathing. You can't mess it up. As long as you keep breathing. You might mess it up if you stop breathing. <laughs> just keep breathing. And then your arms will end up right back by your side after one more. If you're done, we come back, hang out in standing. Just come back to feel your body breathe for about three breaths. Again, can you come back to your legs, feeling, noticing the weight? Lift your left heel. And then we'll step your left leg all the way back, nice and slow again. Back heel stays lifted. Okay, check. We want your right knee to be going a little more forward, straight over the middle toes, not really, you know, over the big toe at this angle. Okay, so it says a little bit more about your hip. So we also want to feel this outer right hip complex on. So check you're not pushing your right butt cheek way out. It's a little more challenging that way. Then we're gonna do snow angel arms up and down three times. As we get tired, you'll go faster. <laughs> and that's natural, right? Cause your breath is gonna get faster. Great, this time you're gonna hold your arms up. Let your chest relax, take a breath. And then we're gonna step forward and balance on your right foot. So you might visualize it first. I'll go first. You're gonna step forward and balance. Wobbling is encouraged because we're humans. And then we bring everything down. Whew. Either stand and rest or exhale, take your arms up, inhale, fold over. 
Exhale, come back up. Two more with your breath. Remember, you can't mess up. Move from your breathing. When we come back up, we stand in like standing mountain meditation for three, four, five breaths. Give yourself a moment to notice your own experience. If you're in the room and you have a mask on, like right now I'm really challenged to breathe through my nose. I really wanna breathe through my mouth. So just that awareness alone, like how does it feel to breathe? And softening your chest. Again, coming back to feel the breath in the lower ribs. The weight in both legs a little more equal. Lifting your right heel. You define slow and stepping that right leg back into that lunge. So when you build your lunge, you wanna feel safe and stable. This is your foundation. Back heel lifts up and we're gonna lift those hip bones up a little bit. Ooh, let the chest relax, catch your breath. Three snow angel arms. You got this, exactly. If you tip over a little bit and you have to come back, you still have got this. <laughs> Good, then the arms come up. Remember, we have to step forward when you're ready. Ooh, and balance for a little bit. Good, both feet come down, arms come down. Three times, exhale. Inhale, fold. Exhale, come up. Inhale, arms to your side. Two more. Just go with your own breath. Try whew, to remember you can't mess up. Some moving breath with body. After this last one, we'll meet in standing mountain again and pause. It's that gentle reminder you might be practicing from a place of mindful self-compassion, treating yourself with kindness, letting this be more about curiosity than a final answer. Take three breaths. And again, letting your chest ooh, soften down, your heart soften. See if you can feel the breath again down in your lower ribs. And one more time, feeling the legs. Right, picking up your left leg and stepping it slowly back into that high lunge. Three snow angel arms. And this time on your third snow angel arms, the arms will come down by your side. We'll have the knuckles facing forward and we'll pull the arms back. If your shoulders are tight, go a little wider. Okay, you can stay here. Make sure your back heel's lifted. Feel nice and strong, right? You can almost imagine you're on ice. I always think of the old, like, I guess maybe they're not old. Those, remember the Norda track where you would do this? I think of this a lot, like you're scissoring and pulling isometrically your legs in and kind of hugging them in. And then we're gonna tip over. 
And we're gonna come back up. So your arms could stay behind you, or if you, you know, are an old Norda tracker, <laughs> you could Norda track the arms and tip and come back up. Okay. We're gonna pause where you need to pause. So maybe you pause in the projected lunge. Maybe you pause standing. Feel what you feel, notice what you feel. And then we come back up to the high lunge, raise the arms and step up to your balance. Ooh, and bring everything down. Three breaths. Whew. Here we go, exhale, fold over, come back up two more times. Right? The gift of breath in your body moving. We let the arms come down. Ooh, we meet in standing, pausing, coming back. From a place again, mindful self compassion, kindness, curiosity, noticing what we notice. Equalish weight in the feet. Whoa. I don't know about you, I need to drop my chest again. <laughs> Feel the breath in my lower ribs. Maybe you find that helpful. Right leg lifts up and we slowly step back to that high lunge. We build our high lunge, three snow angel arms. And the arms come down. If you're tight in the shoulders, you go a little wider and you take the arms back. Now, when the arms go back, try not to push the chest forward. Whew. Let the chest relax. Great. Back heel lifts. And then we tip. Come back up. Maybe you Norda track your arms. So we're called Norda tracks, right? It was like ski machines. Woo. They were all the rage when I was a kid. Pause when you need to pause. Maybe you pause in your projected lunge. Maybe you pause more in a high lunge. Take a couple breaths. We all come up to the high lunge, arm stretch up. Ooh, when you're ready, nice and strong, step forward, balance. You can't do it wrong. And then both legs come down. Exhale, arm sweep out to come up. Inhale, long spine, fold forward, step back. Downward facing dog. Exhale, come down to tabletop and pull your chest forward and up. Your version, upward facing dog. Exhale, tabletop, downward facing dog. One more time, tabletop. Upward facing dog. Your choice, either tabletop child's pose or downward facing dog for five breaths. So you pick a place that is most supportive, allows you come back to being grounded, anchored to feel the breath in your body.
With your next exhale, we're gonna lower all the way down, come all the way down onto your belly. Bring your arms back down by your sides. This time your palms will face up. Let your chest and your nose get really close to the floor. Shoulder blades, feeling the shoulder blades on your back as you take an inhale, the back of the ribs and the lungs breathe up into the shoulder blade. And then peeling your chest up, little baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Pause, press into the front of the hips, maybe float your legs up, then your chest, then your arms. Three breaths in your locust pose. Exhale, Ooh, lower down, plant your hands by your lower ribs, push up, tabletop, all the way back to child's pose. And if child's pose is really uncomfortable, roll onto your side or roll onto your back and draw your knees into your chest. Sometimes child pose doesn't, you know, work on our knees or in our low back. So please, please, please move, adapt as you need to. Let's try and pause for three breaths. And then slowly coming up, finding a really comfortable seated shape. So you can sit back on your heels. You can find crisscross applesauce. You could bring your legs out in front. We'll be here about two minutes. So not super long, but we really don't need to be uncomfortable for two minutes. All right, so navel to pubic bone, low back strong and steady. Let your chest relax. And then it's just a really easy, gentle twist over to the right. Try to keep the navel facing forward, not a lot of shift in the sit bones or the legs. And then with an exhale, gentle twist to the left. And this one more time, all the way around to the right. Core stability, holding the pelvis steady as the rib cage, more of that middle thoracic spine moves. And then we go back over to the left. Chest, if you feel your chest popping forward, just coming back to that awareness, letting the chest rest, the heart soften. And then back to center. Good. You can stay sitting or if you prefer lying all the way onto your back. So we always take the last couple minutes to check back in, to breathe. Closing practice with relaxation. So you want to lay back or you want to stay sitting. Once again, from a place of mindful self-compassion, treating yourself like you would treat your very dearest, closest, bestest friend in the whole world. Checking in with yourself with curiosity, with kindness. How are you feeling physically or energetically? What do you need? Maybe you want to stay here resting. Maybe you want to do some light stretching. And then taking the next minute, minute and a half here is maybe to rest or breathe or stretch. You spend the next minute, minute and a half 
taking care of ourselves in a wise, kind, compassionate way. We'll take the next few moments in silence. Giving yourself a moment to feel your body. Maybe you're stretching, maybe your body is really nice and physically still. If you're moving or if you're in stillness, what's your relationship to your breath? Opening your awareness to your body, breathing to the space around you. Start to open up to the sounds of the room, blending your internal experience with what's going on, with what you hear and what you feel. We'll take about three breaths. And as you're ready, maybe wiggling your toes or your fingers, or maybe you want bigger movements. You take a full body stretch or draw your knees all the way in. And give yourself a couple breaths. And then with an exhale, we're going to roll all the way over and come all the way on up to sitting. Ah. Fabulous, big high fives all around. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. I hope to see you all on Tuesday. Feel free, we have lots of room. So if you're on the fence about coming in, feel free. It's really great to be all back together. So thanks everyone, happy weekend.